Hi, in this video, we are going to look upon a few practice questions based upon the concept of networking and auto FS. So the first question is to change the system host name to Red Hat. So let us check what is the current host name using the command host name. So the current host name is Baljeet. So to change the host name, we will use the command host name CTL set hyphen host name red hat and now let us check again so now you can see that the host name is changed to red hat the second question is to configure the network connection the ip address netmask gateway and the name server which is the dns are already given so we will see what are the network connections that are already available mmcli connection show so we will work upon the C3 connection. Okay, so I'm going to change the network C3. So we will use the command nmcli connection mod name is C3. The IP version 4 address is that is given is 172.24. Dot five dot ten and the net mask is twenty four. For gateway, we will use GW four and specify the gateway address, whatever is given in the question. The DNS IPv four dot DNS again is given one seven two dot twenty four dot five dot forty eight. Now you can check NMCLI connection show C3 and if we scroll down so we can see all the three changes that we have done DNS, IP address as well as the gateway. Finally do remember to use NMCLI connection up and whatever connection you have modified this is a very important step during the exam. The final question is that there is a server which shares a directory slash net slash user 5 with the user user 5. So in your machine, you need to auto mount it on slash net slash user 5 directory. So this is a directory that will create in our system. The user should have read and write permission. So this is an auto FS question. Remember in this case, the server could be already configured. You only need to do the client part. Okay. So as a practice, what you should do is you should practice all the steps that are required at the client end. So I'll show you what are the steps that you will perform at the client end. So for the detail part, you can refer to the video on AutoFS. So the first step would be that you will install the NFS utils and AutoFS packages. Then you will edit the etc auto.master file. And in that file, you will comment the line which contains slash misc slash etc slash auto dot misc. And below that, you will write the line or in place of this line, you can you will write the line slash net slash etc slash auto dot misc. So why we are writing slash net because in the question you can see here that the directory required will be slash net. The next step would be to edit the map file, which is slash etc slash auto dot misc. And in that file, you will write user five space hyphen rw because read and write permissions are required. Then you will use soft comma soft comma intr space. You will give the IP address which is 172.16.2.20. This is the IP address of the server colon slash net slash user five. So with, this is the directory with which you are mapping. The next step will be to enable AutoFS using the system CTL command. Step five, you will go to the directory slash net. And finally, you will use the CD command to move into the directory user five. So that will be last step and this will configure AutoFS as required in the question.
so these were the three questions for this particular video in the next video we are going to start with shell scripting